We're gonna go ahead and get this match started with a big surprise. All right, a big surprise. This is one of those maps that we can get some high quality observing going for you. We have an R8 dualies and utility on the bees. Check this out, boys. This is not it. This is it. This is what we got going on for you right now. Here we go. B play coming underway. Very slow type of B. As the banana play is going to be trying to get contested a lot of players while the flank is going to be coming underway. But the P2K, some damage being taken off, but not much else is underway. There's just players holding on to B, just both standing there. Now, the TK is coming out with the revolver as Firestorm is going to see if he can get a double. Not looking behind him. He's going to be going in for more and it's going to be the Yellow Yaks taking the first round, the first pistol round of that. Now, the only reason why I only have 7 viewers instead of the 38 that I had previously is because water keeps banning all my viewers. We can go ahead and say down with water. Next pistol round is going to be coming underway. Now it's going to be um, a couple buys coming out. I'm not too sure why. They won the previous round. I'm not too sure why. It's not a full buy. Meanwhile, on the T side, the full buy is going to be coming out. Lynx is going to get a tag off. Wow. Look at this banana rush. Do they hear this? They don't expect this at all. A lot of damage coming out. Firestorm is going to be holding on to a lot. The bees. It's going to be the last player standing for the Schizo Squad. And they do manage to win it despite it being a half buy. Definitely going to help them out a little bit. But it's still very strange. What can I even get from this replay? What can I even get other than this spray down at mid? Two zero score line. The CTs are going to be moving out on their way, bumping into each other. Meanwhile, a very strange buy: Scout, Mac Ten, AK Forty Seven, SG, and Nova for the T side. As Firestorm once again with that MP9 is getting very aggressive, decides to reload, and that's going to be the best of him. Master Top, get oh, everyone gets two with the Molotov. Didn't even notice that happening. Space Core going down as well. Now there's only. Bandai. In a one versus three. Shots off. Rifle wins. Rifle loses, excuse me. MP9 is going to see what else he can find. The flashbang is good. Bandai needs to see what else he can find out. Big smoke is going down. It's going to be a one versus one. The MP9 is going to be taking down two rifles. And now that bomb should be going down at any moment. Alu, alu up, man. Taking down that bomb. Bandai is going to see what he can find. Coming out. That smoke. Going to cover off the cross. However, it also gives him enough to walk across. Hello, what man? Hiding. Gonna turn off the x ray for dramatic effect. Not looking in the correct direction. He defines the flick. It's gonna be a 1 versus 3 coming out of Bandai. With nothing but an MP9. The Skitto Squad completely throwing that round out of their hands. It was all theirs. An MP9 versus an AK 47 SG. And the final MP9 on the site. Rough stuff coming out of Schizo Squad. And again, the buy is going to be coming out with a lot of money onto them. It's still very strange how things are working out. How they decide to go about their buy. AWP on Bandai is going to see if he can find a pick in middle. Does spot one and tags him up. And that's going to be the Nova. All the way down to 18 HP. Does try to find a second. He does get a little bit of a tag. But now that banana play from Firestorm. Gonna find one. Find the second. Take down the Nova as well. Does he know about this shotgun? Oh, he takes the falling goal for the ace. Gonna see if he can find the ace. He does get it. The final kill coming out of Firestorm. All five players. 10 and 2. You already know. You already know. The bog is coming out. Firestorm does take out the one over at Logs and sprays down the second. Now these one versus one peaks on Firestorm is making it easy for him to get this ace. And the lineup is perfect and finds that final flick. Great stuff coming out of him. 4-0 scoreline. Definitely a tough T side coming out. And probably the best buy we've seen coming out of the Schizo squad. But that's all we could find an auto on Space Core.
going to see if he can pick up that AWP. Instead, he wants to spray down with the Nova. And uh, that, the Negev does spray down two. Too many ends. Not enough time. Hello up, man. Going to see if he can take back what was lost. But not much can be found. 5-0 Yellow Yaks. The CT side on the Yellow Yaks is holding on strong. Over on the T side, they need to be finding answers. It's a lot of sitting back, a lot of standing around, and not much happening behind that. There's no, like, look at this right over here. They're waiting for the utility and allowing the CTs to absolutely just push up and bully them. Now, I understand this is far, completely far from a pro match. However, a pro IGL once said, if you are being beaten down, you don't just stand there and take it. You need to fight back. And that's exactly what the Schizo Squad needs. They need to go ahead and try to get aggressive on their own and do it well together. Other than that, if they go ahead and keep standing by, keep staying behind, especially with the broken buys you see every single round, they're not going to find much one bit. Top of the AWP is definitely going to see if he can find anything with it. However, they're playing even further back and Bandai is... That's just an hour angle for Bandai. He finds two off the AWP. Combine Soldier is going to see how far he can get. He does spot one, but lets him pass. Does he hear that shot? Does find one to try to close out this round, but... It's going to be Bandai with the AWP finding three in the round. Again, they're playing so far back, allowing Bandai to get those final two picks. He has not died once, by the way. Bandai is 11 and 0. Firestorm on 12 and 3, topping the server entirely. And no one could break five on the Schizo Squad side. Let's go ahead and do some quick mass real quick. That's 7, that's 10, that's 14 in total. Firestorm... And Bandai hold more kills than the entire Schizo squad, and he's going ape shit right now. Link's gonna find another one. Gonna see if he can hold off this banana play. He does spot one with Toph, however, he's running out of bullets, and now that reload is gonna be absolutely brutal. One player left with the bomb in his possession, however, Link's. Is a very scary weapon on him. <laughs> he goes ahead, Bandai. Takes out one of his teammates along the way. This is a slaughter. I don't know how else to put it. A slaughter so much that these two kills come so easy out of Bandai. Walls bangs and manages to repeak and they go for another repeak again. That's the same exact play that you tried in the previous round. It did not work. They go for it again. Bandai's going to see what he can find over in mid, but this time no one is present. Instead, it's going to be Combine Soldier, the first one in, over at the apartments. And they're making a lot of noise. Lynx is hearing it all. With the Mag-7. Good shot coming out of Big Smoke with the R8 of all things. Oh, he's not even find one! He does find the Mag-7! But nothing more, nothing less. AWP now in the hands of Big Smoke. Trying to go for the knife. The bees all the way back in T spawn. Firestorm is going to try to push. However, the AWP shot does not connect. The bees goes down all the way back in T spawn. The bomb is still down. Two players on the A site and one in their T spawn. Toph spots the bomb, wants to push a little further, and does find one. Now Big Smoke needs to answer, and Toph, excuse me, Firestorm, could not answer. Once again, both Firestorm and Toph, I'm sorry, Firestorm and Bambi having more kills than the Schizo Squad entirely. This is not what I wanted one bit. This is not what I wanted one bit. Maybe it's a little bit too much. I'll stick this for as long as I could. Bandai. Gonna speed if he can spot one. Does take out. 
a player coming out from mid. And Big Smoke taking out one of his own. Bandai, make that two. Firestorm is going to get very aggressive. Thank you, Waterman, for actually doing something with your life. Banning the proper people now. Round number 11, and it's 10 and 0. I did see a 16 to 4 scoreline predicted in the chat. Let me know. What do you think this scoreline is going to be? I have a one minute delay, so I won't be able to answer. That's a very strange smoke. Allows Space Corps to push up extremely far. But meanwhile, look at Combine Soldier pushing in the back lines of the CTs. Does manage to find one. Is he going to go for the next shot? Unbelievable. Space Corps gets away with murder. Look at these CTs pushing up. Look at the T's back in spawn. They're back in spawn. Did they give up already? Will it be a 16 0? Look at all the CTs right outside their spawn. Space Corps is going to find another. The bees tags up one. However, the Negevs are just too powerful for these. And it's working. It is working. There's only one player left. And that is Bandai. This is the strat of the century. 30 seconds left on the clock. And the T's are still in spawn. Waiting for these CT's aggression. Meanwhile, Bandai is just playing back. Takes out one. There he goes. Could he win this round despite the strategy? We're going to see Bandai find the second. There's the bomb. Now we got one player left. A Negev versus an AWP with five seconds left. He needs to go ahead and die. Bandai knows it. After time, it's going to be another round for CTs. Going to see if we can spot him. And very close. Very, very close to getting him after time. Big Smoke once again taking out Combine Soldier, making it a 4 versus 5 immediately. You let me know, chat, is this playful or is this tilt? They're sitting in T spawn once again, allowing the T CTs just to push up. This is ridiculous. Why am I even casting this? This is very fun to watch, I'm not gonna lie. But they're throwing smokes inside the spawn. Extinguishing their own fires. Do we see the 16 0? Do we see one round coming out of this, the Schizo squad? Let me know. This is for the. I, I can. While, while this is happening, I can show you all the camera angles. Why not? This is for the A side. I already showed this side. Obviously, of course, look how look how clean this is. We also got one player, Space Core. About to push in within the Gev. Peeks in, misses a shot. And now the strategy is working again. It's gonna be Schizo Squad making it a two versus two, taking out their own teammates. Lynx doesn't want any part of it at this point. Neither does Bandai. We got this lovely angle as well. I hope you guys love it. It goes nice and slow right over the A side. As a matter of fact, this is the A side as well, but it shows a little bit of a light and the missiles right behind. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that great? Another round is going to go to Yellow Yaks, but are we surprised? This will be the T side. As a matter of fact, we may catch a T right over here. We could not get it. This is going to be like sort of the CT side of A, if that makes sense. There's a lot of A's. This is now the CT side just, you know, in 16k. 
their money and all that stuff. Them headed towards B. My B binds do not work. I gotta fix that. But we can hold on to this for now. As Master Toff with the AWP. Firestorm's got a deagle. Nothing else but a deagle. Do we see the 16 0? Is this match fixing? Who knows what we're watching at this point? But again, as always, we got CT T spawn sitting as players are taking the initiative on the yellow, yellow yak side. So I'm going to go ahead and advertise my channel for a bit as this is happening because this is just absolutely ridiculous what I'm watching. But I like to cast CSGO guys. Go ahead give me a follow. If you're more likely whenever I'm live I'm casting CSGO. That's probably like 95% of the time. So if you like CSGO casting, if you want to go ahead and give a support, just follow and uh, whenever I go live, you should get a notification. And that's how you know. And all you guys got to do is just view, you know? You don't even have to listen. That would help out a lot. Guys, the th score is 13-0. Are we shocked? But it looks like they're going to be trying something different this time. With a great flashbang. It's gonna be tough within the gap. Up in apartments. He's gonna be pushing through. Big Smoke is gonna damage out his teammate. Toph is gonna take out both of them. Do I even... Well, what do I even say? What is there to say? They have the bomb. People are shooting people. Baboon's got a scope. He gets tagged. A grenade was thrown. Lynx... Finishes it off. 14-0. Last round of the half. Do we see the Schizo Squad take out Yellow Yaks on the final round and make the comeback of a century? Not too sure. Big Smoke looks like he's going to be aiming towards his teammate. Blind as a bat damages him. Blind once again. Going to see if he can take him out. Does he manage to do it? Does he manage to do it? Molotov goes out and a player is down. The T side is down a man covered in their own blood. I wish I could tell you what you're watching. I really wish I could. I'm trying to make the best of it. I'm being paid to do this. I'm really not, but still. Damn, look at that player model. He's broke his neck real hard. I got to go ahead and check that out. Oh, we can't. No, we cannot check out that player model. Hey, look at the scoreline. Yeah, remember we're playing? I think a player disconnected entirely. And that's Combine Soldier, and they did bully him a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a tilt on our hands. At this point, they should be readying it up for the final half. So, let's talk about Bandai. 21 and 1. His KD is 22 right now. <laughs> wow, everyone else 16 6, 13 5. They should be all above 2. And 1 KD on each of Lynx and Space Core. They haven't been seeing much this game. They, were, they weren't even playing bad, they just haven't been seeing much. God, this is something. Match point for Yellow Yaks. Do we see the comeback of the century? We're about to find out. Firestorm's got the dualies on him. We're going to watch him for the rest of the game. And meanwhile, we got... This is not what I wanted. We got players still in CT spawn. Headed towards B. This is not what I wanted. This is what I wanted right over here. Firestorm with the dualies. He hears these gunshots going off. Firestorm is gonna get. He does not manage to find anything with the dualies. Now it's gonna be Baboon all on his own on the CT side. Gonna stop this A play coming underway. The bomb's being planted. At least it should be. There we go. Buttons are being pressed. Bomb goes down. Baboon goes down. It's gonna be close to the first round coming out of the Schizo Squad. If they could pull off this two versus four. Big Smoke is only able to find one. Now it's just going to be Alawat Man in a one versus three. 
to hold on to his honor, to hold on to the 16-0, which is inevitable. There we go. 16-0, Yellow Yaks, final score line. Look at those plays, Bandai, Firestorm.